So today, I'm speaking into two different microphones. One is about double the price of the other. And I'm switching between the two channels right now just so you can get a quick glimpse of what that might sound like to you. Can you tell which one is the more expensive one? Is it this microphone? Or is it this microphone? What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Paul and I run a channel that inspires other careers or your future is whatever you make it. I do that through gear reviews, tutorials. And today, well, we're going over audio because audio is very important in the video production world. And today, I, I'm, these two microphones are like the best of the best right now in my opinion. You got the Rode VideoMic NTG and then you have the Rode NTG5 and those two are like the two high quality mics you can get right now for you know basic video production. Sure there's other brands out there that make like thousand dollar shotguns but I'm kind of comparing these two. These are the two that probably the average person would consider like okay should I get an XLR microphone or should I just get an on-camera microphone that is good for a lot of different things where typically your shotgun microphone that's XLR you kind of limited because you know it's only XLR and most cameras don't have XLR inputs on them. But you know, me, I got this Sony K3M and I wanted to be able to test out the audio. Is it really worth it to spend the extra money on the K3M and go XLR versus doing this, you know, little eighth inch cable into your microphone and booming it over you, which I, I've done before and it works great. And I used to do this and my last video with my drone exam, I had one person uh, that said, wow, your audio is really good in that video. What were you using? And I was like, wow, I guess he noticed. I was using the v uh, Rode NTG5 and with this new K3M setup here. Uh, but so today for this example, as you can see, I've been kind of switching back and forth between the microphones just to kind of give you an example of what it sounds like. But I'm kind of going to be going over the pros and cons as well as you're going to be able to hear what the main differences are so you can decide whether you are okay with saving half the money or you want to beef up your production quality and go for that Rode NTG5. Now I gotta say that Rode was super kind and sent these to me, not to make a video actually, just to support me as a creator. And when I got this microphone, I, I was searching over to see like, you know, what the differences are between these two and I couldn't find a lot of videos on it. So I wanted to make this one here today. I'm running them both into my Sony K3M so that this could be as even as possible. Uh, they're both going into the same preamp into the camera through the K3M and I'm just swapping between the, the two channels. If that's what you're hearing today. That's how I'm running it. I, I'm a Sony fanboy and a Rode fanboy. So this is my dream setup right here. The biggest differences between these two is clearly XLR and eighth inch. Now, if you're an eighth inch guy, it's a lot of money to invest into an XLR system. You know, if you, the, the nice thing about the, the uh, NTG5, it comes with everything you possibly can need. Everything included in the kit, you get this like pistol grip, you get this little XLR adapter so that you can run all this straight into the pistol grip and an XLR into this and out to your source. It's a nice little compact system. It's, you know, it feels really nice, yeah. You know, this could be like a good thumbnail or something like that. And then it comes with, of course, this like little like wind muff that all of them do. But it also comes with this, you know, dead cat, as they call it, for outdoor noise. Um, and all that stuff is extra. So if you wanted to get, have all those nice beefy accessories with the video mic NTG, well, the pistol grip will run you uh, like 80 bucks. This cable runs you like 60. And it does not come with a furry wind muff, so you actually have to buy that separately, which is like another 40 bucks. So all in together, you're, if you were planning to buy all those accessories to make your video mic NTG somewhat comparable on that front, you're gonna be spending about the same amount of money as you would have just be going to buy the NTG5. But the problem then lies, you have to somehow get your camera to convert that XLR signal into your camera if you wanna run it right in, straight into your camera like I am now, or you have to sync up audio and post and get like a Zoom H6 recorder and plug your XLR into it and it's, it's a pain in the butt. That's why I went the route of the K3M. But the sound quality I think is just phenomenal. Oh my gosh. I really like it. It, ha my, it has like a boomier sound to my voice, a little bit more 
oomph in there. I don't know. I like it a lot. I originally thought, well, I wonder if this is really going to be worth all the hassle and the extra parts that I got to buy for this. But after hearing it, I am like shocked to the moon. It's going to be like increasing my client work audio quality as well as my in-studio YouTube quality. So it's great. And, and right now I'm in kind of a terrible sounding room. There's a lot of echo, there's tile floor, there's, uh, you know, just walls, bare walls in here pretty much for the most part. So it's not a real controlled room. I'm just sitting in front of a, you know, knock, drop down screen, drop down tile ceilings. It's, it's not that great of a room. So what you hear today is just straight from the microphone into the camera. I'm not doing any processing other than just leveling out the audio to make the levels equal to each other. So this is going to give you a great understanding of what the differences are as far as that goes. So we've already talked about the accessories that comes with the NTG5. Now we're going to get into the accessories that you get with the VideoMic NTG. And it's pretty much none. You just get like one of these little windscreens that come with it and a right coat shock mount to go on top of the camera, which is great. Um, and that's it. So you have to buy the wind muff separately if you want to vlog outdoor with it, uh, which I highly suggest if you are doing so. But the nice thing about that microphone is that it's got a lot of built-in features. So it's got USB, so you can go into your, your computer and plug that microphone in and you can use it as a USB microphone for streaming. Whereas this one, you kind of have to get the plug the XLR into an interface. You can still use it for streaming, but you couldn't just use the, this microphone by itself. You can also have a, a dial on the back to you know, control your gain. So say you have a source, you know, that has doesn't have a lot of gain control, you can actually control a lot of that gain from the microphone and take off that pressure on your preamps of whatever device you're, you're plugging into, your camera or whatever. The other thing it has is obviously the high the high pass filters and the I love this about this microphone is that you don't have to turn it on. It just knows. Like it you plug it into your device, when you press record on your on your camera or you turn that camera on, it knows that it's on and it, it the microphone turns on by itself. You turn off your camera or whatever device it's plugged into, it stays on for a little bit and then turns itself off when it realizes, oh, there's nothing turned on anymore. So it's really a smart microphone and I love it. The biggest difference between that and the Deity D3 Pro, which I used to own, is that the Deity, you had to still turn it on to get it to into a standby mode and then from there it would turn on and off with your camera but you still had to have it in standby which was using a little bit of power whereas this one you just it turns on and off by itself overall there's so many little features into the NTG video mic it's a great starter mic so if you don't have anything at all and you're like hmm should I go XLR or should I go just get the video mic NTG I find myself still using it a lot outside of the studio because it's just so much easier to put on your camera and go for it. Whereas if you need an XLR microphone, then yeah, go for the NTG5. It is a oh, beautiful sounding microphone. But the nice thing about these microphones is they are both built super well, both made of metal. You really can't go wrong with either one of these for build quality. They're both built like tanks and Rode has been doing a fantastic job with that with all their new releases, they just released a go-to that is the same build quality, no built-in battery and all that stuff, but it's great. So this microphone is fantastic. Now that's the other thing about this. You need phantom power to run this XLR microphone. You do not need phantom power for the Rode VideoMic NTG because it has a built-in battery. You do have to charge that battery and keep it going, but you do not have to rely on any phantom power or, or such to power the mic. It is all inside of itself. So those are really the big differences. And then obviously the sound quality. They're both shotgun mics. They both are directional. They're going to pick up less noise from the outside. There's still holes in the microphone. It's going to pick up noise off to the sides a little bit. Um, that rear rejection is still going to be pretty good. You're not going to get a lot from behind, but it's at the end of the day, it's still a shotgun. The best way to get the best sound out of both these microphones, which is what I'm doing right now, is getting them as close to your mouth as possible. So in this shot, they are right here. And they're both like clipped the same level, so it should be a very good comparison. I've talked my face off, I've talked my mouth off, a lot of the differences. 
what do you guys think? Do you which one do you like better? Can you tell the difference? Would you spend the extra money on the NTG5 between all the different setups you need? Uh, let me know down in the comments below which one do you like better? Can you tell the difference? Do all the fun YouTube things and you guys know that I will see you in the future.